We can pipe operators onto an observable stream to modify that stream in some way. Now to say it modifies the stream isn't 100% accurate. What is really happening is that each operator takes in the previous observable stream as an input and returns some new observable stream instead. So most people probably think of data flowing downwards through these piped operators and being modified as it goes. But it turns out the trick to really understanding what is going on, for me at least, is to think about it in reverse. So let's work our way up to that. So take this example from one of my previous videos. You might want to watch the previous video for more context, so I'll link that in the description. But let's just focus literally on what this stream is doing here, more so than why it is doing it. So to demonstrate what is happening with this flow of values here, clearly I've just added some markings onto this diagram. And what I'm doing is I'm using these parentheses here to indicate a stream. So this first bit here is a stream that emits just one value that is an array of one, two, three. You can see this bit here is just the value of that array. And then again, here we have more parentheses. And so this is a stream that emits one and then two and then three, as opposed to this first stream that just emits one thing all at once. So we have a current photo stream, which emits an array of values. So if there are three current photos, it will emit those three photos in a single emission as an array, which is being picked up by our switch map here. So to see what the final result of this current photo stream we are creating, we can just follow this data flow downwards. So our switch map takes the value from the original stream and instead returns a stream of those values individually. So it takes this one, two, three array, and then it turns it into a stream that emits one, two, three. Now each of those emissions, one at a time, will then flow to the concat map. The concat map will take each of those emissions and create a new stream for each individual photo. So we have this one being passed in, and then we have a stream of one being created. And then that stream will then be delayed dynamically depending on whether or not this paused stream is currently true or false. So we have followed the data flow downwards, which is a pretty natural thing to do. We're thinking of this data as flowing through these operators and being modified as it goes. Now, in effect, that is what actually happens. That is the result, but it isn't really specifically what is going on. As I mentioned, each operator is returning a new observable stream. It's not really mutating values as they pass through. So now we are going to get to the main point of this video. So I've modified this diagram to show that rather than following the data flow downward, we can follow subscriptions upward. So let's consider what is actually happening when we subscribe to this current photo stream that we are creating. So if I call current photo dot subscribe, I am not actually subscribing to the current photos observable. I am subscribing to the observable returned by its last piped operator. So if we focus just on this outermost pipe, there are just two piped operators. We have the concat map and we have the switch map. So when we subscribe to current photos, we are actually subscribing to the observable returned by its last operator. So we are really subscribing to whatever observable that concat map returns. So that's sort of like our starting point. We're starting at the bottom. Now, when we subscribe to this observable, it is going to trigger a subscription to the observable return by the operator above it. So that means that the concat map will subscribe to the observable returned by the switch map. The switch map will then subscribe to the operator above it, or in this case, it is actually the original observable. So switch map will subscribe to the current photo stream. So we start at the bottom and everything subscribes to the thing above it until we hit the original source observable. But this stream is a bit more complex. We have all of these operators in here that we haven't even talked about. The concat map is the last operator. So we are subscribing to the observable stream returned by concat map, but the concat map returns a stream that also uses piped operators. So when we subscribe to this stream returned by concat map, we are really subscribing to the stream returned by its last piped operator. So you can see here we have of photo and that's where we create our pipe 
And then in there we have just one operator that delay when, so that is the last piped operator of this string. So since the delay when operator is the only operator in this pipe, when we are subscribing to that, it will then handle subscribing to the source observable, which is the stream created with of. And we can go even deeper here because once again, the stream returned by delay when is also piped. So this is a reasonably complex stream and it is generally nicer and easier to follow when we don't have to deal with nested pipes like this, but this does serve as a good brain teaser. So before we wrap up, let me show you one more example where I think understanding this subscription flow really helps. So a little while ago, I built a stream that looked something like this. Now the actual scenario was a little different, but let's say I want to emit the value there after two seconds, but I want to start this stream with the value of hello by using the start with operator. So I want hello to emit immediately and I want there to be delayed by two seconds or any future emissions from this stream. So let's see what happens when we actually run this code. So I've just started a new REPL session here. I'm going to uh, set up a few things from RxJS and I'm just going to log out the result of this stream. So if I run this, you're going to see what happens is that both of these values emit at the same time. We have that delay of two seconds and then hello there is emitted immediately. But this isn't what we wanted. We wanted that start with operator, the hello, to emit a value right away and then wait for the rest of the values. Now we can probably reason about this either way by following the data flow downwards or following the subscriptions upwards. But for me, it makes way more sense following what the subscriptions are doing. So let's consider what is actually happening here. So when we subscribe to this test stream, again, we're not subscribing to this. We are subscribing to whatever observable stream the last piped operator returns, which is this. So this is our starting point. So we are subscribing to the delay operator, which is going to delay emissions on its input observable by two seconds. So the input observable for the delay operator is the one above it. The delay operator is going to handle subscribing to the start with operator, but it is going to delay the emission from the start with operator by two seconds. And then the start with operator is responsible for subscribing to the source observable above that. So with a clearer view of what is actually happening, we can solve the problem with this code instead. So we have switched the order of the delay and the start with operators. So now we are subscribing to the stream returned by start with first, which will immediately emit hello. And then the start with is then responsible for subscribing to the stream returned by the delay and the delay will subscribe to our source stream. So if we head back to our REPL session here and I run this code instead, we will see that the hello is actually emitted immediately. We can see that up here. And then after that two second delay, we get our there value being emitted. Okay, so hopefully that explanation wasn't too long winded. Uh, understanding this upward subscription flow was a big part of what helped RxJS click more for me. Uh, hopefully it is helpful to you as well, or maybe I am just weird, I don't know. Either way, if you did enjoy this video, a like or subscribe before you go would be very much appreciated and I hope you stick around for the next video.